What do you have? Let me have the have a honeymoon, huh? You mean don't let your meatloaf? <laughs> Live from Las Vegas, Nevada, <laughs> it's Keto Cooking. Welcome back, Keto Cooking for Diabetes. I'm Tom, the Keto Cook. I need a drink. Today we're going to be doing a collaboration with 805 Barbecue Junkie, Sleeper Barbecue, and Salt, Pepper, and Fire Barbecue. Hashtag, don't let your meatloaf. Let's get to it. Okay, today we're going to be making a meatloaf. I'm going to be fresh grinding up a nice chuck, chuck roast. And I'm also going to be adding in some of my uh, sausage that I had made back a while ago. So I'm going to cube this up pretty self-explanatory. I'm going to grind it down and sit back, listen to some music. Okay, now rather than using the grinder again, I'll run the meat through my food processor and uh, chop it up a little bit finer. Also, I'm going to be using two eggs. A half cup of pork rinds. And a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Now, this is going to act as a binder. Try to keep everything together so it just doesn't crumble and fall apart. Now, I am going to be making an Italian Parmesan, meatloaf Parmesan. So that's where the wine comes in. Now, that's a half a cup of wine. It's a Chianti, nice dry wine. That's one for the chef. Now I'm going to be adding in some spices, a little bit of hot pepper. I have one more, I ain't got to kill nobody, right? Now, the wet mix. Blend it all together. Add a little bit of garlic to it. And I'm going to be mixing this up. Put some gloves on and get in there and get ugly with it. Now, I put this in a, in a, in a loaf pan and uh, lined it with some parchment paper. Uh, this makes it a little easier to get it out. So, now we're going to be putting this in the oven, 350, for about two hours or until I hit maybe about 160. Voila, meatloaf is done. Come out beautiful. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this together. Now, what I'm doing is, this is going to be stuffed. Just follow along and watch how I do it. This is a great opportunity for me right now to shout out some of the channels that I, that I follow. North Texas Barbecue Addicts, Kenneth. Boy, he's got a great channel. Barbecue by Biggs, Aaron. Boy, he's got his stuff together. Behind the Garage Barbecue, Craig. He cooks a lot like I do. Grumpus on Fire. Mr. Grumpus, he's got some channel. Now, my raindrop life, she, I believe she's been following me from the beginning. Great person, Michelle. Man Kitchen re Recipes. Kevin, I tell you what. No matter what I put up, he's right there. It makes me feel good that uh, that he you know acknowledges. I mean, it's, it makes, makes a small guy feel pretty good. Thank you, people. And I'm going to keep shouting everybody out. 
Now, at this time, people are saying, what in the hell's he doing making round circles with cheese and stuff? Well, that's how I'm going to stuff it. I'm going to layer this probably three pieces. Uh, the middle piece, I'm going to cut out the same size circle. I'm going to add my sauce, put the cheese in, and then uh, we're going to sit down and enjoy. Okay, we're going to start building this bad boy right here. Now, I'm going to be putting this puzzle together. I'll be fitting the cheese in. A little bit more on top so everything sticks together. And we'll put the other piece on. A little sauce on top. And some extra cheese. Just so it melts over and gives it that nice Parmesan flavor. And I got to tell you, this sauce was a little, had a little heat to it, so... It was good though, very good. All right, we're gonna put this bad boy in the oven, 350, uh, and basically until the cheese melts. I'm gonna put a little Parmesan on top, and just keep an eye on it. And I'm gonna make a side dish now. Hey, I salute. Again, don't make your meatloaf. Now I use these egg life wraps. Okay, I use them as a, uh, for uh, pasta, a re replacement for pasta. Uh, I use them for all kinds of stuff. Uh, zero carbs, and I tell you what, they come out pretty pretty good. Now, if you're going to be looking for a pasta taste, it's not there. It's a little bit more chewier, almost like an al dente type of uh, noodle. But I tell you what, it serves the purpose and it keeps the health factor in line. There they are. Into the pan with some garlic, a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to add some spinach in and saute this up real quick. Uh, add a little butter. And I'll be putting some spice in there, some uh, salt, pepper, garlic, and onion. A little bad pad of butter, spin it around. We're going to sit down pretty soon. A little bit of Parmesan cheese, finish this plate up. And we're gonna get ready to put this all together. I wanna thank everybody for uh, having this collaboration. It's real good for everybody to get together and do this kind of stuff. Now, there's my version of meatloaf Parmesan, keto style. Also some spinach, egg life wraps that I made into Spaghetti, garlic, olive oil, and butter. I tell you what, this came out pretty good. A little glass of vino. Listen, like, subscribe, and uh, check out everybody else's channels that I had mentioned earlier. And I want to thank the guys uh, putting this together. I tell you what, it's great. Oh, there it is. And if you know somebody who has a YouTube channel, Give them some support. Doesn't cost you anything. Hit that like button and subscribe. It's free. Okay, everybody, I'm getting long-winded here, and it's time for me to go finish my dinner. Like, subscribe. Come on back to Keto Cooking. I'm Tom, the Keto Cook. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later.